If you are looking for a new and fun back to school first day of class activity for your middle school math class, this video is for you. If we don't already know each other, my name is Kathy Martin and I'm the creator of the Pre-Algebra Teachers Middle School Math Membership. We are your one-stop shop for everything you need to teach middle school math with ready-made and rigorous lesson plans and resources. The first day of school is both exciting and nerve-wracking all at the same time for us and for our middle school math students. We want the day to go smooth, we want our classroom to be comfortable, and but it can be so busy and so chaotic. So I just want to remind you, in all of that chaotic and just feelings of stress, don't forget to spend some time on that first day or first week to get to know your students. Why is it important to get to know our students on day one? Well, for me at least, it's really important to create a classroom culture that um, my students feel like they belong, that they feel safe, that every student it belongs here and is welcome here. So that means I want them to have some time to get to know each other as well as get to know me and vice versa. Because if your students trust you and they feel like you care about them, behavior issues dramatically decrease. And what teacher doesn't want that? So if you are looking for a fun activity to get to your students, this activity that I'm about to show you is the perfect addition to whatever you already have planned or just can be an activity that you just use in general. It is called character cards. And what you're going to do is you're going to print out the card templates. There are five of them. So you get all of these. So this is one template. This is another template. Here's the third, the fourth, and the fifth template. So it, as you can see, it prints two on a page and your students can so cut them out and your students will pick one of the templates that they want to use. And on the template, they will write, they will draw a picture of themselves, they will write an ability, and they will write a special skill. Please notice that there is no spot for them to write their name, and that is done on purpose. So for example, this is mine. As you can see, I'm not the best artist, but that's okay. So here's my picture. Here's with me and my dog, Fred. My ability is I teach math and I'm a math person, and my special skill is I always do my best. As you can see here, your ability or your special skill does not have to do with, does not need to does not have to, does not need to be about math or your class or school. It can be about anything. You know, their, your student's ability could be they can tie their shoes in 10 seconds or less, right? I here just want my students to tell me something positive about themselves so that it helps me and the other kids to get to know them. To know them. So what you're going to do is have these students fill this out, you know, decorate it, color it, or whatever. And then once everyone is done, shuffle up all the cards and then walk around the room and hand your students a card that is not theirs. And they have to go around and ask each other um, who is the originator, who is the original artist of this, you know, of this card. And it just kind of helps them create conversations, get to know people, you know, so if I was walking around my class, I could say, do you have a dog that looks like this? Or, you know, are you a, do you teach math? Is that your ability? Nope, 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 oh, that's me, you found me, right? And at the end, what I love is, I love to actually put these that are all decorated up on my classroom walls as decorations. It's such a great activity. Let me know in the comments if you think that this is going to be an activity that you can use in your class. The other thing that I love about this is that it also incorporates writing, which I know for me, I have a really hard time incorporating writing and math at the same time. And this really just does both. I know it's not a super math activity, but it's such a fun way to get kids up, moving, talking, and really building that classroom culture. So if you would like to download this activity for free to use, in your classroom, use the link right below this video and you can grab this activity today. Let me know in the comments again if you think that this is going to be an, an activity that you want to use. I cannot wait to hear all about it. Until next time.